Hey yo, what's up? You know what it is? It's the one and the only, the triple, the G-O-D, live on Team GRF TV. I had to welcome you guys back to another installment of Triple the Guy Speaks on. And yo, coming right up, build episode number 34, the severing best match or the best match separated, depending on what subs you believe in and how your Japanese is or whatever. But I, I'm like, given that I didn't even think about this until I activated the mic, is depending on how you wish to really look and how that title is presented to you is that you can really look at the episode different. And I really wasn't expecting to really open this review with taking a look at the title and really thinking about it hard about what it was that I've just sat here and just watched. Regardless of that, the thing is, is that I got to take y'all somewhere special. See, I can't take y'all to the synagogue on this one because, you know, as much as we continue to deliver you from these L shadows, as always to my man, Minister W, holding me down. You know what I'm saying? As much as we need to deliver you from these L's, that's not a way that we shouldn't go to the holy place for this. At the same time, I could take y'all to the lab, but I don't think for what it is that I'm about to do that the lab would be conductive to get my point across. So, in the infinite beyonds of my imagination, I've created somewhere new for us to go. So come on, kids, follow me. Come on, follow, follow Uncle Triple. I got you. I got what you need. Come on in. Take a seat. Find anywhere to sit on the floor, any of style, sit there and chill. Yo, welcome to the winning kindergarten. Where here, I get to gather all of my children, all of the sheep, get y'all to sit down, and we gonna have a little story time. How about that? Like, if you take a look back there, my beautiful and lovely assistants back there, get you any juice or cookies that you might need. And when you're done, you get all full after we get done, we got cops for you to take a nap, man. So welcome to the winning kindergarten. Regardless of that, Common Rider Build, episode number 34. Now, see, we are in an interesting place right now. This whole episode was wild as hell because of what has been done here. Because I don't really think preaching y'all about these L's is going to get it done. I don't really think about trying to scientifically explain L's is going to get the job done. So I got to sit up here and I got to tell y'all this story. So if y'all ready to hear this story, you know your boy, Big Uncle Triple, I got you. Once upon a time, there was this guy named Avoto, and he wanted to destroy human life because it's a day that ended why. I'm particularly a fan of Tuesdays and Bison and things, references to stuff that we'll be doing soon on the channel. Regardless of that, remembering where we have been on this strange old crazy trip that is coming right a bill, is that it was Evoto all along. It was Evoto. Everything. We know this because, remember, our old hashtag was hashtag Bloodstock did it. Now, if Evoto had y'all wrapped around his fingers, hashtag that shit. Because, my God. Like, yo, this this episode was off the chain. If, that you, if you thought that Evoto was done with the trickery, the switching, flipping it on you, this episode was the flip. Let me give you what I mean, because right now we are establishing Volto as our villain in this story, and it's important to do that. And here's why. He just murdered a man. Well, let's say this. He was going to murder a guy, but then another guy jumped in the way and took an L, right? So we've established that. And if you don't know who those people are, and if you're just doing us, that's kick. Get Toku Himuro, aka Evil, 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 Evil Alucard, and his daddy, OG, leader of the Gray Squad, Tizon Himuro. He has been murdered, and all you heard was, Oh, yeah, Jay! Oh, yeah, Jay! And so the deed has been done. The, the, the dude, old dude's been murdered. Just done. Squad run out. Shisha! She shall know. They sit up here and did evil on the gangster shit. Hey, if y'all was a little faster, y'all could have seen me murder this nigga. But ha ha, I killed the nigga. Oh, now we're fucking mad. You murdered. You murdered that dude who loaned me a dollar. Man, he believed in me. He helped save my form. Let's murder this fool. And guess what happened? 
Evoto in his continuing showing that I'm going to murder you fools because y'all some bitches and you can't fuck with God. Fisher Prince says, as I quote, as he won on handling these motherfuckers, oh, some old Dragon Ball Z Frieza shit. Oh, I'm only at 2% power, you dumb fucks. But here, let me make you hold these motherfucking L's. And here's how I'm going to make you hold L's today. Hey, Shinto kill you. How you doing, buddy? My name's Evoto. I know you've met me before, but let me reintroduce myself as I introduce you to this motherfucking L that your ass is about to take. So here, I'm going to make you dehension, knock your ass all the way across the screen, and oh, by the way, now you got super duper Mars poison. So guess what? In 72 hours, your punk ass going to be dead. Jugging our bitch like, rah! And you got me tan to stand like, me tan to stand! Let's get this nigga. Oh, wait, by the way, let me sit up here and let me give y'all a couple of energy balls right where your henshin belt says you dumb fucks die. Bing! And sit up here and kill these motherfuckers. Like, yo, I'm a gangster. But hey, look, I'm glad that we was all able to hang out. I killed your daddy. Your punk ass about to die. Y'all some bitches. Y'all some bitches. You a bitch. You a bitch. You a bitch. Here a bitch. There a bitch. Everybody gonna fucking take L's in the world of Evoto. But hey, I see you motherfuckers later in this episode. But until then, peace the fuck out, bitch. Oh yeah, yeah. She show oh yeah, yeah. And they do this for a while where they don't actually do that. But in my version of things, they just sit here and scream Japanese words because a man is dead. And it's just like, well, hashtag Evoto fucking murdered everybody because nigga, he's God now. So fuck you. So yay. That would be the end of our story. But see, the show don't have three days to really wait to sit up here and watch Sento get really fucked up by this Mars poison that only one person can cure. So, we sit up here and we fast forward a couple of days. We open this scene and you got that boy, you got that boy Evil Alicorn like, Oh yeah, Jay! I will unite the country! Oh yeah, Jay, please! Oh yeah, Jay, come back! Oh yeah, Jay, I miss you! Oh yeah, Jay, come back! Like a little bitch! So, so, you know, if the face turn wasn't fully complete, it's complete now because we got the fucking gangster fucking crocodile and roll whining like a pussy because your daddy dead. Now, normally, if this was like some normal shit, I'd be like, well, I could kind of understand that given me, but I'm not me right now. I'm somebody else. I'm just, I'm Big Uncle Triple telling you a story. So, Big Uncle Triple don't give a fuck your daddy dead, you dumb motherfucker. So, fuck you. Hold this motherfucking L, biatch. So, so you hold this motherfucking L. We in the hospital. They sitting there pretty like, Santo, how can we save him? There's nothing we can do for him. He's just gonna die because he tried to fuck with God and God smited this bitch ass. Ring! Ring! No Limit Sento Studios. Hey, what's up, nigga? You know what it is? Your motherfucking boy Evoto, nigga. Hey, hey, what's up, pimp? Hey, guess where I'm at, nigga? I'm at the old spot, nephew. Hey, look. Do you call yourself the juggernaut bitch? You just a bitch. So look here, a bitch. This what you gonna do. You finna come to the motherfucking spot. You gonna meet me. And then when you come through, you better have my box. You better have my bottles. You better have my weed. You better have my rash mat. And you better have me a goblin and a hose. Because if you come and correct at me, you don't bring me my shit. I'm not curing your homeboy. He gonna take a fucking L permanently and then ain't gonna be no more show so fuck you so you got some time so you better hurry the fuck up you better do what i say and i'll see you soon a bitch click who is that owner son he he gave us the news first off he called me a bitch second of all he want the bucks all the bottles some weed some wrap snacks, a couple packs of annihilators, some butterfingers, a vest, and an emo pizza. And if we don't bring it, he ain't gonna save Sento from taking a massive fucking L. Man, so what the fuck we supposed to do, cuz? Man, we gotta bow down to a true pimp, I guess, nigga, cuz it ain't nothing else we can do, nigga. His name is Voto, motherfucker. What's up? What the fuck we supposed to do? So... We sit up here, the squad made the decision of, well, this is what we gonna do, and here's the magical fucking plan that, hey, whatever. Meanwhile, in the most important part of the show that I forgot, because I feel that it fits better here as we sit up here and travel on our way to where it is that we're going. So, that boy Bonjo the U guy shows up first to the spizot. 
Like, yo, I brought you everything you wanted, cuz. Everything. I got everything in the cut. My people on their way with everything, man. I just, please, man. Please, I beg you. I beg you, Lord God, he vote, though, man. Save my best friend, man. Please. Man, he the only one that ever showed me love. Everybody else treated me like a bitch. Well, except my girlfriend, nigga. The pussy was good. But that's regardless the point, man. Just please, man. Just save my friend, man. Look, fam. Hey, right, let me let me rap with you, though, cuz. Like, why, why we waiting for the peace to come and shit, man? I want to tell you the truth. Once upon a time, in a story within a story, you and me, we the same nigga. Huh? No, for real. We are the same nigga. The same motherfucker who possessed me, fucked your mama, and made you. So, nigga, you like my son. See, even though I walk around and I sign your bitch ass, you my son. Son. Come give me a hug. Come embrace your daddy. Become one with me and you will become greater than any of these bitch ass fucking humans. But I've got even better news for you because see, your boy, you remember your boy, right? That boy Sento Kiryu, you might also know him as Takumi Kasaraki. Yo, he tried to kill your daddy and you, my son. He tried to sign us. He tried to sign us. What you mean? Just listen, just listen, just listen. He found out the truth about us. He found out who we was. And then he tried to run up on me, and but he put on the wrong belt this morning and his pants fell down like a bitch and I murdered his punk ass. And then I murdered that little punk ass bitch too. Switched they motherfucking faces and now your best friend sitting up here wearing my old homeboy face who tried to murk us. But you still wanna fight though? You still wanna fight me? You still wanna fight me, son? I'm trying to embrace you. I want to give you a hug, absorb all your how, absorb all your power, make your hazard level go up to five billion, and then I'm gonna become you. But don't worry about none of that because trust me, none of that's gonna happen. But just come to me, come to me, my son, so I don't have to fucking make you catch a motherfucking L again, okay? I don't believe a fucking word you say. You are not my fucking. Hey, hey. I know this is a, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot to take in. I know it is, son. I know. But you have to believe your father. I made you. And I will fucking break you if you don't get me my motherfucking emo's pizza. I wanted some motherfucking sausage, some pepperoni, and some bacon, and some pineapples on that bitch. And it better be right. And it better have extra cheese. I told you. I told you. We ordered everything you wanted, man. We just want you to say, my boy. Yo, yo, it is your boy, me, Candace, that. The fuck going on over here? Man, this motherfucking nigga just said he my fucking daddy, dog. Like, what the fuck kind of crazy shit is this? Nigga said he my daddy. This what he told. This what he told me, right? He said, the same goop went up his ass, went on my mama pussy. That make him my daddy. That don't really make no motherfucking sense, and I don't believe a word he say, but I just want to pass that on to you, cuz. But yo, did you bring the shit? Yeah, I got the nine ladies, got the rap snacks, got the weed, got the fucking box, got the bottle, got everything you need. Like I said, though, cuz, I brought you every single thing you wanted, you asked for, and you needed. I appreciate that. I really do. But see, as, as Lord God to you, I'm altering the deal. And just like my nephew Darth Vader, pray I don't alter that motherfucker any further. So listen here, nigga. This was gonna happen. You gonna fight me. What? You wanna fight us two on one? Dude, not only like maybe 10 minutes ago in this fucking episode, I made your motherfucking boy nigga catch fucking herpes. I fucking murdered you fucking two bitches and I can fucking do everything I want and I'm still getting used to this motherfucking shit. Like, do you really legitimately think that I'm gonna lose? Like, for real. Like, I don't have zero ulterior motive for forcing you to fight me, but if you wanna say, if you wanna say your fam though, you gonna whoop my ass. So that's the terms. All the stuff I asked for, and to revive your homeboy in exchange for a fight. If I win, I collect the pot. If you win, you get to take your shit back where the fuck you got it from. And I will still say your boy. Alright then. Deal then. Not like we got much fucking choice anyway. But fine, I got you then. Let's do it. Robot Jelly! <laughs>
Bottle Bird! Cobra! Rider system! Hinchins everywhere! Oh, and then these two stupid motherfuckers take an L from New Lordy Boat, though. See, you thought I was gonna tell No. Take L's. And I mean take fucking L's. That fucking Evotech finish with that fucking kick he hit Bon Jo, nigga. Hit that shit is godlike. He just sit up here and stick his foot out. Merry Christmas, you dumb son of a bitch. Blah! And I'm just like, are you fucking serious right now? Like, this, this dude sits up here repeatedly fucking say, I'm only like at 5% right now and I'm murdering you fools. And I'm just like, I sit up here and I'm going to say this live. But I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this live as the one and the only before I get back into character, right? I cannot wait to see what this show pulls out of its ass to fuck with this dude. Because see, I already know it's gonna be some final form for that boy Sento. So everything's gonna be okay. The day will be saved by him at some point. This is the same fucking thought I had when Time Lord Dad was walking around XA just booty fucking everything. Just raping everybody. Like, yo, I'm Time Lord Dad. Yo, bend the fuck over. Come take this dick because I'm about to rape your bitch ass and just rape everybody. And then, you know what? Everybody gets memory cards. Everybody gets the da 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 And then Mr. L delivers L's. And I'm just sitting up here like... I cannot wait for this moment where Sento turns into something so fucking gangster and like curb stomp this asshole. It, Cause it's gonna be, it's gonna be glorious. Cause Evoto will give in. He will give in when he catches these L's from Sento's final form, first final form. Do, do, do. <clears throat> he catch you's an L. Catch you's an L. Catch you's an L. Catch you's an L. Cause that's what's gonna happen in the future. But right now, the jug and that bitch and me tend to stand on catching L's from Lord Evolto. Come and catch these L's. Come get this hand. Come and get this work. Cause you finna get your fucking ass whooped. Mm, 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 mm. Catch us in there. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I just like yo, shout out to Bobby Root. Shit's can't knock more with that remix. Still got the best fucking theme in WWE right now. So yeah, every motherfucking catch his ass. So Evolto as, as new lord of this show who rapes everybody has declared himself the winner. I win, you lose, hold L's, what you gonna do? We get long fucking speech of I don't care if I'm a Martian or a human. Sinto is my best friend, and I believe, and you got me trying to stand like, yo, my nigga, do not do the shit you thinking about doing. Oh, I'm finna fucking do this shit. Bato Burn, are you ready? And it's like, oh, no. So it's like now, after getting his ass whooped, he coming back for more. And you can see Evolt just like, yeah. This is what I've been waiting for for the whole time. I have been sitting up here this whole series building you up to this moment. Raise your hazard levels for me. And for a nice long while, on purpose, as hashtag Evoto did it, as he always do, sits up here and just lets the magic happen. Because I'm 30 steps ahead of you on this 5D chessboard and shit. And it's just that, it's just L's just keep getting fucking delivered. And it's like... How are we going to say Sinto? It's like they've been fighting for so long. It's nighttime and shit. And then it's like, well, I'm super powered now for my best friend. Here it is. Volcanic Knuckle. And then it clashed with this fire sword that Evoke got. And then it's like, oh, by the way, the whole fucking plan was to actually, you know, absorb your body so I can get a new form, become one holy Voto, and now I'm going to rape everything for fucking free. So, congratulations. Thank you for giving me everything I need. Dragon! Rider system. <laughs> Evolution! Head shit! Spin that shit, spin that shit, spin that shit! Evil Dragon! And now I'm going to rape her fucking face. The end. I hope you guys enjoy story time, folks. Hope you enjoyed it, kids. Go get go get the juice. Go get your apple slices. I think we got some, some grand crackers back there. Look, damn it. Look. This episode was off the chain. 
Like, I didn't even get into the part, like, cause I guess I can talk about it a little separate from this. The reveal that that Evo's plan was complete. He said up here, like, yo, yo, my nigga cured, cuz how you do that? What's up, motherfuckers? <laughs> I'm finna fucking rape you. And I'm just like, I knew this was coming. I knew that this was evil. I knew this was Evoto's big giant fucking plan was to build his hazard level, absorb him, and then set up her and get power off this fool. I'm just like, I saw this coming, but then watching it directly in front of me, and I'm just like, word? For real? You telling me? And this is for real. I could have done this review in two minutes. Dead dude, you late to see dead dude, you get L's delivered, do what I say or your boy dies, you sit up here, try to pretend to deliver an L to me in real life, and then I sit up here and deliver massive L's to all your homies, and then I still get what I want because I'm Lord Evolto, the greatest god ever and get Kamen Rider this season. So fuck you. And I'm just like, damn. Like, I told y'all a couple weeks ago, this dude on Xanatos level shit. This dude sitting up here, like, setting up shit 34 episodes ago, and I'm just like, the folk. Like, like, talk to me, Kasaragi, like, I'm gonna murder some, I'm gonna murder me some Mars niggas. No, we gonna murder your dumb ass, you fucking bitch. I'm just like, when, whenever you think this show has hit some kind of magical peak and it can go no higher. The real reason why you were there in an apartment building and multiple people got murdered and their faces switched is because some scientist wants to murder Martians. And I'm just like, are you fucking serious right now? Like, no, no, totally not, no. Just, it's like, yo, in the span of two episodes, We've killed a prime minister. Somebody got new powers and he's walking around the show pulling down pants and raping ass. And I'm just like, whatever. Do what you want, show. Do what you want. If you want Evo though, just to walk around and just rape face and shit, go knock yourself out. I'm just like, that's what he do. He just walking around like, yo, I'm going to rape you, no homo. Come get this, come, come get this work, no homo. Come catch you this L, no homo. And I'm just like, Damn. I'm like, to quote a famous poet, he been playing y'all like a funkin' fiddle. That poet, of course, being DJ Bobito Garcia, a.k.a. DK Cucumber Slice. That's how dumb this show is. This show is dumb for no fucking reason. This show has no reason to be this fucking ignorant. Zero. Negative reason for it to be this ignorant. But look, we gonna go ahead and turn this into a video, y'all. Hey, welcome everybody to this place I made up called the Winning Kindergarten, where we will sit up here and teach kids of the world how all they can do is catch these W's and how to sit up here and just say nah to the males, man. We hiring this shit. We hiring, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, yo, you wanna come watch some kids or something, man? Like, yo, come through, fill out an application. We'll make sure, you know what I'm saying? We'll get all your shit right, man. We pay decent, you know what I'm saying? I was really good, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, my thing is, is I'm, I'm too busy preaching on Sundays. I'm too busy during the week, man, cooking and working in the lab. I, I did this, man, because my people needed some jobs. So I'm like, yo, I'm sitting up here doing what I can for my fucking community, you know what I'm saying? Like, creating jobs and shit. I sat up here with the magic of my imagination and my craziness Created a kindergarten where kids learn how to win. So, hey, what the fuck have you done today? Think about that shit. What did you do? Like, really sit up here after you've watched this video and really think about what have you done today. Have you used your imagination today? Have you? Because the answer is probably fuck no. So, then... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo.
I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna turn this into another one, man. Yo, I would like to thank all of you guys, man, for joining me for another installment of Triple the Guy Speaks Your Life from the Winning Kindergarten. All my children, thank you for joining me. Enjoy your juice and stuff, and enjoy the big titties of the lady showing me your juice. You know what I'm saying? That's just how we get down, man. I figured, you know what I'm saying? You want something to look at while you're having your juice and your apples and your and your graham crackers or cookies. You know what I'm saying? You get to choose which one you want, so you can do that. So, like I said, I'm gonna turn this into a video. Let's get out of here, yo. Once again, thank you. For and giving me the opportunity, man, to clown about the show I love. I appreciate that. And if I don't say it enough, thank you. If I don't say it enough, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Like, I made the opportunity myself. But if I if I really secretly didn't know that people were actually getting enjoyment and fun out of this, I wouldn't do it. And I wouldn't go as hard and go as dumb as I do. So I know y'all love it, and I love it too. So everybody loving it. So, with all of that being said, gotta have a new outro because Lord's in the building. Triple the God, Rider System, Ultimate Final Evolution. <laughs> you aren't ready. Come on. <sighs> Evolution up. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Infinity Hazard on. You're not ready. <laughs> Build up. And until next time, man. <coughs> Peace out. <laughs>